Well, hey, it's Aton, and this is a very special day. Uh, today, April 2nd, 2023, is the 32nd anniversary of the addition of this building over here to the National Register of Historic Places. It was added on April 2nd, uh, 1991. This is the headquarters of the Tuna Club of Avalon. So, in addition to being the main craftsman structure on Catalina, uh, that is not a house. This was also the birthplace of fishing as an actual sport. They were the ones that promulgated the rules of sport fishing that are still followed today. Back in the late 1800s, uh, fishing was basically about how many fish you could kill. So along comes this guy, Dr. Frederick Charles Holder. He was originally from Massachusetts. He moved to New York to be a curator at the Natural History Museum there. And then he moved out to Pasadena. So in the 1890s, he was instrumental in founding the Rose Parade, the Tournament of Roses. Now he heard that there was all this fishing to be had in Catalina, so he came out with a couple of his buddies. He was enthralled with all the tuna that you could catch out here, but he was pretty disturbed by how wasteful angling was back then. Like they would just throw all the carcasses of fish that they caught on the beach and let them rot. So he got together with a couple of his fishing buddies and he started the Tuna Club of Avalon in 1898. And there were two major themes to what they were doing. One of them was coming up with rules for a more gentlemanly sport of, of fishing. So things like matching the size of your tackle to the kind of fish that you're gonna catch. So you, you're not like, using this gigantic rod and reel capable of reeling a 150 pound fish in order to catch a 20 pound fish. And the other thing that uh, they were big on was conservation. So Holder wrote a book about marine zoology. He knew what he was talking about uh, in terms of conservation. And he was able to challenge this idea that the ocean was a limitless resource and fish would never die. Uh, there would always be more of them. And so the tuna club under his direction started introducing ideas like not overfishing. And later on, they would also get involved in uh, either protecting or help to like rebuild populations of fish through supporting fisheries and stuff. So in the late 1890s, early 1900s, the tuna club of Avalon was kind of the only uh, fishing club around. And so those rules that they came up with at their inception um, became accepted. Uh, as the basic tenets of angling clubs around America and around the world. Uh, eventually the International Game Fish Association would even adopt those rules. So this building right behind me, uh, this was built in 1916. Uh, there was another tuna club headquarters that was there from 1908 until 1915 when a giant fire basically destroyed half of the buildings in Avalon. So the next year, this one popped up right over here. And uh, that timing was actually pretty auspicious because it was really from 1916 on that angling as a sport uh, came into its own. So technology was developing for rods and reels and even the boats that you could go fishing on uh, that made it possible to catch bigger and bigger fish. And oftentimes the biggest manufacturers of all of this tackle technology would work with members of the tuna club. Uh, to come up with special tackle that was customized to their needs. Its members were uh, successful fishermen all over the place. Uh, Charlie Chaplin, Cecil B. DeMille, uh, he was a president. Hal Roach, George Patton. There were honorary members that included Teddy Roosevelt and Herbert Hoover and ex-president Grover Cleveland. One of the biggest names was Zane Gray. He was a popular author um, whose house in Altadena is actually on the National Register as well. So Winston Churchill was not a member, but he was in Catalina in 1929 and went out fishing with some of the Tuna Club members and he caught a 125 pound marlin. <laughs> to this day, it is an exclusive club. Uh, you're only allowed inside if you're a member or a guest of a member. So we're just skulking around the outside here. It's all good. It's a beautiful building. <laughs> Happy to share its history and also check out this giant sculpture of a tuna Thanks for doing LA with me.